First, if that's the main reason the president wanted to fire him, his jumping into the email investigation and taking it over in an unprecedented way, which I agree with you, why did it take so long? The investigation? No, to fire him. You mean why did the president? We knew, the president knew when he was inaugurated that Comey jumped into the middle of the Clinton email investigation, took the job of the attorney general over. That's the main reason that he was fired. Why did he wait so long to fire Comey? Well, I'm not sure he ever grasped the full import of that. The goalpost has been moved. First it was, I did not have communications with Russians which was not true. Then it was, I never met with any Russians to discuss any political campaign, which may or may not be true. Now it's, I did not discuss interference in the campaign, which further narrows your initial blanket denial about meeting with the Russians. Well, let me just say this without hesitation, that I, conducted no improper cam uh, discussions with Russians at any time regarding a campaign or any other uh, item facing this country. Okay, how uh, do you know? I want to say that first. And that's been the suggestion that you've raised and others, that it was somehow we had conversations that were improper. And I'm disappointed. Uh, yes, you can say uh, what you want to about the uh, accuracy of it, but I think it was a good faith response to a dramatic event uh, in, at the time. And I don't think it's uh, fair for you to suggest uh, otherwise. That to me is moving the goalpost every time. And we're starting off with an extra point, well, is, and by the end, we're going to a, uh, you know, a 75-yard field goal. So now everything else, so now you take that to say, if I ever met with a Russian, I've not been candid with the committee, and I reject that. 